Mark Hamill has made audiences happy for 50 years, but now after one upsetting change, he will be quitting his best role. I'm not talking about that movie about the kid in the desert who made it to first base with his sister. I'm talking about Mark Hamill's actual best role, the Joker. Mark Hamill had a huge impact voice on the Joker, doing the role for 15 episodes of Batman the Animated Series, 6 episodes of New Adventures of Batman, 6 video games, and 4 movies. And the amazing thing is Mark Hamill wasn't the first actor to voice the Joker in Batman the Animated Series. It was actually Tim Curry who voiced the Joker for 4 episodes. Then Tim Curry said he had to quit doing the role because he got bronchitis and couldn't continue. That might have been a lie because the producer later came out saying he just didn't like Tim Curry's Joker voice. And when they were looking for a new Joker, they tried reaching out to Mark Hamill but didn't think he'd say yes. And that's because they previously tried to get Al Pacino to voice Two-Face, but it didn't work because he wanted three times as much money as they could offer. Mark Hamill did the role cheap, having loved working on The Flash show in the early 90s. Now Mark Hamill said he won't return as the Joker ever again because of the passing of Batman voice actor Kevin Conroy. Saying Kevin Conroy was his partner in crime for 30 years, it would be a sin for him to do the role again without him. So all good things must come to an end, and with that, I'm Charles Prawley, I hope you learned something.